hey guys welcome back to our channel technology and today in this video i'm going to show you guys how to fix missing wireless adapter problem in your windows 10 computer so you just need to follow me so at first you need to uh, right click on your start menu icon just right click over there and you will get this window after that click on device manager once you have get this device manager window you have to go to the view and select here sorry select here so hidden devices once it is done all right just select uh, on this network adapter and just click on this action tab and after that click on scan for hardware changes once it is done close this window and after that you have to click on the search menu button or you can click on start uh, menu icon so I will click on search and after that type over there network troubleshooter after that click on find and fix network problem so click over there and after that click on next and it will automatically detect uh, your problems and it will fix your problem automatically okay so click on this troubleshoot my connection to internet and after that it will detect your problem and fix your problem once it is done you have to close this window so still if your problem is there just go to your start menu or click on search menu icon and after that type over there cmd now right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator after that you have to click on yes now here and you put some command over there which i'll give you on my video description so the first command is net sh winsock reset sorry winsock reset and after that press enter so as you can see it's showing like you have to restart your computer once it is done you have to close the window and you have to restart your computer so after you start your computer still if you are facing same issue then just go to your search menu icon once again and type over there cmd now right click on command prompt click on run as administrator once your command prompt window is there you have to put the second command which is net cfg and after that space minus d and press enter so once it is done you have to restart your computer and it will fix your problem so i hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any queries or question then comments down below i will see you guys on the next one next video take care